Welcome everybody to day one of Purpose in 66. If you've just joined us, we are beginning 90 days of purpose so that we can find in scripture clarification around our calling, our destiny, our assignment, our purpose, and our passion. So today we're in Genesis and I was debating between two different stories that I thought captured purpose in different ways. And since I wrote the curriculum, I figured, let me do both of them. The first of the two is called Purpose Care. I don't know if you have Apple products. I don't know if you've ever made a big purchase at Best Buy, but typically depending on the purchase, the cashier will ask, do you want to add a care plan? Whether you drive a car and that car offers an extended warranty, the purpose of a care plan is for you to have within the contract some maintenance coverage so that when the thing that was once new becomes old, you're still taking care of it. What we find in Genesis 2.15 is that God gives Adam purpose. He tells Adam and Eve to work it and to take care of it. And I want to submit to you that purpose is a lot like a child. You don't just have a child and leave that child to raise themselves. You take care of it. So for this first day, I want you not to be excited about the mission that you forget the maintenance. Design right now a maintenance plan so that after the butterflies of excitement wear off, you can still care for the thing that God trusted you with. The second of which is purpose poison. If there is purpose in the world, there is also an opponent for that purpose. And we see that in Genesis when the serpent comes to Eve and tries to talk her out of a revelation of her own calling. What I want you to know for sure is that poison shows up in people, places, and things who have no clear understanding of your future. So be aware, my friends, about your care plan and about your purpose poison. Let's get started.